how to add before and after sliders in Shopify. Hey guys, welcome back to the YouTube channel. In this video, I'm going to be showing you how to add sliders uh, regarding before and afters in your Shopify store. So let's get into it. Now, whenever you are adding a new product, maybe you're adding a service to your store, you want to illustrate how life is better with the product than it was without or how much of a difference that the product is making. So having before and after sliders can really enable you to further illustrate your point and, you know, get customers to value your product. Now, how do you actually add these kinds of sliders in Shopify? Well, it doesn't matter if you're not very tech savvy, I'm going to take you step by step on how to add the code for a before and after slider. Now, the first thing that you are going to do is you're going to go into your online store, you're going to click on online store. Once you do that, you're going to click on actions. Now, after actions, you're going to click on edit code. And once you click on edit code, you have all of these different sections. And then you're going to go into theme.liquid. So theme.liquid is going to be present in your layout section. And then you have your head over here. You're just going to click on it. And this is going to be red. Now what you're going to do is you're going to scroll down a little bit. And once you scroll down just a little, you're going to find a second head. So over here, I have my second head. For me, it is in the 211th line. It just really depends on where your code is present. Now, what you're going to do is you're going to click on enter a few times to create some space for you to enter the new code. Now, I know most people that are not tech savvy have jQuery uh, integrated into their stores, so it's easier for them to copy paste code. If you have jQuery integrated, then it's going to be a lot more simpler for you. For uh, absolute newbies, I do recommend jQuery, but if you're someone that has a little bit of experience in editing code, then you can skip jQuery and then you can just add direct codes. Now, what you're going to do is you're going to enter this code over here. So this is on Ecom Experts. I will link it down below for you to add. And what you're going to do is you're just going to click on copy and then you're just going to click on paste over here. So space really does not matter. Now, just like that, you have added your code and then you're just going to save it. So for most people that have jQuery integrated, uh, this is going to easily just create the header or create the section. But if you don't have jQuery, it sometimes might not work. But for most people, I do think this will work. So what you can do is you can click on view your online store and then you can just go down and then view it. So if I scroll down over here, obviously I haven't added any media. So that is why the sections are empty, but it has been added. But for you, if your section is not added just by, you know, adding this basic code, there is another step that you can do. Now, if you want to create your before and after containers in your product, so let's say in your product section, you want to create those containers. Well, what you're going to do is you're going to click on settings and in your settings, you're just going to click on files and you can upload any file that you want. So I'm just going to go with this random image file that I have because I don't have any other files. I'm just going to continue with the ones that I have. So this may take a few minutes. Now I'm just going to wait and I'm going to upload another file because, you know, I want two files at least. So I'm just going to click on upload files and I'm just going to upload a couple of files onto my Shopify store. So once you've added those files, what you're going to do is wait for them to be uploaded. It's going to only take a couple of seconds. Now, once you have uploaded your files, you're going to go into your online store and what you're going to do is you're going to go into your product section and let's say i have these two products what i'm going to do is i'm going to click on the product and i'm going to go for the more emptier product this is like the candle planner so what i'm going to do is i'm going to click on show html so what i'm going to do is after i click on show html i'm just going to click on return a couple of times so i'm going to create some space and what you're going to do is you're going to copy this code now so this is our code you're just going to copy it from ecom expert and then you're just going to paste it over here so i'm going to copy it and then paste it like so and once you click on paste what you're going to do is you're going to enter the image link so you're going to open the settings again and once you open up your settings, you're going to go into your files and then you're going to copy the link of the file. So this is the file that I just uploaded and I'm going to copy the link. In the source section, what you're going to do is keep the apostrophes, but paste the entire link over here. And I'm going to do the same for the other image. 
So I'm going to keep the apostrophes in the source and then just paste the image and just like so. And once you do that, you're just going to click on save over here. And once you've clicked on save, you can go into your product category and you can click on preview product in online store. And then you can get like a preview of the images that you have added. So right now it is um, it is still processing. I haven't added the images currently, but they're going to be added once my product is actually live on my e-commerce store. So you can see this is how you add before and afters for a product in the product section of Shopify. Now, if any of the codes that I showed you guys are not working for you, so if they're not showing up on your theme of the Shopify theme that you chose, that is probably because you have a very clean theme. Like the theme I'm using is also one of their very clean themes and you can't really edit it very easily. So you're going to have to install jQuery. So jQuery is like a simplification platform. So you can just go onto your apps and then you can just search for jQuery and integrate that. So that is one thing that you can do and that is just totally up to you if you want to do that uh, for most people if depending on the theme that you are using you can easily just integrate these codes and these HTMLs onto your platform but if you don't have that ability if you're not very sure about how to edit and remove code and how to like add tiny little things just integrate any of these code applications like simple add head and body code or Especially, I would recommend instead of going for the Shopify integrations for code, go for jQuery because jQuery is the uh, industry standard, you can say, and most people are using jQuery for their Shopify customization. So it's going to be a lot more easier for you to navigate with jQuery as well. So that is how simple and easy it is to add sliders into your Shopify store in both your web page and then your product page as well. Now, for all of this code, it is available on ecomexperts.io and I will leave the link in the description box down below for you to access it as well and then you can just copy and paste the code from here so we are about to end this video and to end it on a good note I would like to request you guys that if you found this video helpful or if you found this method exactly what you wanted or what you were looking for consider subscribing to our youtube channel and sharing it with your friends and family who might learn a thing or two from this video or learn a thing or two from the hundreds of videos that we have on our our channel and of course if you have any questions any queries about anything in this video or with related to our entire channel or any of our videos make sure to leave a comment down below and ask us what you want from our videos i tried to cover everything i could in this video but if you want to see more details of the methods or the ways in this video just let me know in the comments down below and i'll be sure to make more videos on your suggestions at the end of the day it's all about providing you guys with valuable content that could help instill a positive change in your life and hopefully your friend and family's life as well and at the end i would like to request you to make sure to hit that like button and subscribe to our youtube channel as it helps out our videos a lot and again thank you so much for watching till next time goodbye